Alrighty, guys. Last chance to nail down your strategy. And then we're opening up the maps, getting started in five seconds here. Two minutes ahead, spawning once again over here on the Ascalon base with Red Two spawning in the Shar base. The gates have opened, and away we go. Let's check out our splits, guys, here on the map. Overview our red team, Aerox, Rizden, Robin, as well as Lee Kraut. Looks like they are going to be heading the middle, but we could see a Shadow Refuge play. You could see the two of them all grouping up on top of each other. So, again, it looks like they are going to be Shadow Refuging into mid, so we'll have to check out that play. Bit of a crossplay, Junk Possum is going to be heading over to Quarry. Blue team will be claiming their waterfall for free, but as we go into the middle fight here, as it has begun jumping out of that Shadow Refuge here, just to keep up with the play, your team is already under some heavy pressure here from the red team. Aerox is going to be jumping directly over him now as your team tries to run away from this now he is stunned doesn't have a lot of heals and is over and no, actually far sorry about does that is gonna be retreating now towards his base has eight seconds left till the heal comes up connie's are gonna be a bit much lee Krat wants his body here but the banner's gonna come down saving him and now lee Krat is the one in trouble as he's overextended here way too deep into the blue team territory but your team still is gonna be the one running away here as he is extremely squishy running what appears to be a power build for ranger but again we're not looking at those builds and i do apologize for being unable to bring that up but anyway your team has escaped successfully let's go back over to the overview point so we can watch the rest of this bid fight. We're going to be going in on Kizos' point of view again, if I can get to it. Just give me one second here, guys. Jumping on to Kizos' point of view now. As we're in the middle of this team fight, Kizos playing that Spirit Ranger. Obviously going to toss down the water field. We're going to see some AoEs go off on that. Keeping his team up and alive for the time being. Kata, however, is getting a bit low. As you can currently see, is regenerating right now, though, as he has retreated. Every single piece of the action is right here in middle. We do have a blue team as we're Drunk Possum sneaking over to the quarry to try and back at that. And we'll do so successfully. We may see a contestion. And actually, Drunk Possum doesn't even want the full cap. He's just going to be going in for the decap. Red Team Steve is going to do the exact same thing. And it's going to stay almost directly even for now. The blue team, uh, two minutes ahead, however, is going to be ahead by about, by about seven points for the time being, however. Obviously not much as the game has just started, and it's going to come down a lot to this mid-fight. We do have our first downing, though. Robin is currently sitting here. Just to mention, Lee Kraut was actually knocked out because that overextension earlier was brought down. Robin, however, was just saved. Obviously, the Spirit coming into play. They actually killed the Spirit due to AoEs, so and that was their own mistake there. Killing that it allowed Robin to get back up, and is going to keep this fight rolling for the time being. Let's jump over to Kata's time, though, because he's getting pretty low. Jumping into some self has actually managed to take down his opponent, Thief, just in the nick of time, although these Poison Fields might end up killing him. Gets into that Shadow Refuge, and for those of you who are Aren't aware that Shadow Refuge is going to heal him slightly. Does get hit by an AoE there, however. Aerox was man did manage to get back up. We do still have Kata time alive, though. We're also going to see another Shadow Refuge come out in favor of the blue team. Stomps are going to try to go off on, on, uh, on Drunk Possum, but there's going to be a res coming off on that Kata time as well. They're going to be able to get him up. Nice saves indeed from two metas ahead. Just jumping over to you. Just jumping. We're going to stay on Kata time's point of view here. Jumping in. Just saw those amazing crits coming in there from that thief. All that damage. 6.3k, followed by a couple 2k crits in, success in wild succession there. Managed to take down Lee Kron and an instant stomp following that. We also have Iced Out Trap Star now under pressure from the rest of the blue team. Gonna be jumping in onto him here pretty shortly. Don't really have any other action besides that. Just to note, the red team Thief did manage to sneak in there once again and decap the waterfall, whereas uh, blue team has not managed to accomplish that feat, so obviously they're gonna be able to come back into this now with that one capture point, but blue team doesn't even matter. They're knocking out red team members left and right here down to just two people left in the middle fight. They do have that Thief off the point fighting with blue teams, with one of blue team's rangers for the time being. However, they are sort of winning this middle fight here. Just took down Riz and the Guardian. That's going to be a crucial kill if they're able to get that off. Knockback will go off. However, Robin still has a chance to save his opponent. Kata time is going to try his best to stop that from happening. However, coming in, providing pressure onto Robin will stop him from getting him down and will now keep him down. Robin is now the last person here at middle and the last thing stopping Blue Team from taking this very crucial point here on Legacy. The Faux Fire will knock him out. They are on the way to Cabinet. Retzi can still jump in to contest, but judging by the way the map looks, it doesn't look like they're going to be doing that anytime soon. We have Drunk Possum going in for what's probably going to be a, at least a decap once more back over here at the waterfall as well. Blue team is looking to take that away from their red team opponents at the moment. Lee Krat will be going down and with that, blue team will be taking that. And jumping over here to the middle now, we do still have this fight going on right here. You're, they still actually know the fight's over there now, and <laughs> they just managed to decapture that. Blue team has maintained control of the waterfall as well. Most of red team's forces, unfortunately, were wiped out there at that last middle fight, so they're now forced to regroup, as you can currently see on our mini-map here. Everyone's sort of rounding around a quarry, and they'll probably, uh, after that, work their way into middle again. But blue team actually knows this is happening, and this strategy may or may not work so well. What they're doing here with the uh, with the Necromancer somewhat is curious to me. I'm trying to see if they're going to send him in, and I want to see what... Yura decides to do, and it looks like Yura, and very nice intuition from the blue team here, is actually going to be ready for it. He jumps directly on the Lee Krat, and before he's even grouped up with his teammates, he's at 60% health and on his way to dying, and I think they're actually going to try to, to uh, gank him here as well. But, oh no, there's Aerox again jumping on Yurtine. Keep in mind, guys, Yurtine is pretty squishy here, so he's going to take this damage pretty heavily if he doesn't stay, but Yurtine again turns it around. Just look at those crits from a Ranger, nonetheless. 
Aerox just manages to get out of there. Your team's not safe yet, though. He is ready and just in case. But we're going to jump to the overview point of view, ladies and gentlemen, just so we can make sure that we don't miss any of the action. Jumping over to Sense of Tumor's point of view, as we did see Tata time go down. Overextended here a little bit. We may see him go down as of yet. We did just manage to jump away, go into his point of view and zooming in just so we can see if anybody attempts to stomp. A lot of damage. They did get the bandit now, but keep in mind, it only revives a certain percentage of your health, so it wasn't able to full cap him. It did... Uh, bring back some of the health that he did lose from all that AoE rolling off, though, although it doesn't look like they're going to be able to save him. The damage is going to be too high, and Kata time will be knocked out, giving Red Team the advantage as they try to take back this middle point here now. Lee Krat now coming under pressure from the blue team as they try to flip this around once again. You're seeing all that damage rolling off from Drunk Possum, and now Drunk Possum is going to be the one retreating here now. We also still have your team firing from above, but Drunk Possum is going to go down close to your team, so he does have the availability to save him here with that uh, with that uh, longbow knockback here. We're going to see the stop try and go off on Drunk Possum. Your team will move in to save his opponent, or see if his teammate here. All that damage rolling off on Robin, just trying to get the resurrection off as quickly as he can. They're trying to see. Um, did they stop the wrong target? And no, they managed to get him up there. I think they may have stopped the wrong target there as he tried to get him back up. However, it could be wrong. That was a bit of a close fight. Anyway, checking out what we do have going on at some other points of the map. Both these from both teams are back capping those two side points, obviously. So that is going to, again, keep this fight extremely even with the red team currently down by about 60 points and the blue team leading at only 200 points, though. And there's uh, nine minutes left in this game. It's somewhat low scores for what we usually see on this map. We did just see iced out trap star get taken out by a sense of tumor due to that red team did decapture de de the middle there because they did have that very nice opener when they re-engaged just managed to take out a couple people from the blue team pretty quickly there and kept that fight rolling Lee Krat now down we are going to be seeing Rizden get knocked back there again blue team trying to make sure that they do get those stops off Lee Krat again going down and it is looking like once more the blue team will be retaking this but at what cost however because if you check over here at the quarry robin has decapped that and is on the way to full capping it and back over here at the waterfall it is already capped in red team's favor we do have one of the uh, Rangers, Kizos, from from two minutes ahead, trying to get this back, and is doing a nice job. But it just got the decap off, but unfortunately, Red Team did capture that quarry, so it's no thrill threat to Aerox. Aerox is probably just going to retreat. In all honesty, he's no he's no real motive to fight here, uh, except for keeping it. Um, contested for just a bit longer, but it is looking like his team is ready to group up in middle once again, as you can see on this map. Going for a bit of a two-prong push this time, possibly, as you can see two people here. They may allow the initial group of these two rangers here to move in and then send the other three over here to the waterfall to try and just take the side points instead, as they weren't having much luck in those extended mini fights. But again, blue team with the intuition there is going to see that coming. Let me just try to get on the point of ease as quickly as I can. Cata time over here now, going to jump on Lee Krat as he moves on to him now, almost taking him down again, just trying to stay on 5k crit will knock him out as well as smoke and will guarantee a stomp on him unless we see an interference from another player. It's not going to happen. Katatime, indeed, nicely done, knocking his opponent out. Uratine was double. We just saw the stomp go off just in time. You saw how close the bar was. It looked like he was full. We had a stomp go off from Aerox, however. Both these thieves are kidding kills left and right. Although Aerox reign has ended, he will be stomped out. And Blue Team is on the warpath to make sure they do hold on to the waterfall over here. Rizaden almost getting a decap now, but they are going to be holding on to it back at the quarry. We do also have Drunk Possum who has managed to sneak his way around there and full capture that in favor for his own teammates. And Iced Out Trap Star, as well as the now incoming Robin, are now forced to fight around that. Drunk Possum is going to be in some trouble here. Although, it doesn't, I don't believe he's going to give up just yet. Still has that heal. Still is going to be able to jump on the point. We may see him. Just trying to see. Doesn't actually have a portal. I was going to say, maybe pop a portal open for his teammates to move over here. Just took a pretty hefty amount of damage there from, uh, I, believe it was, I believe it was the pet over here. And is now going to be retreating away. Might just see him go down, unfortunately, because he is somewhat surrounded by his teammates. Drunk Possum is probably going to go down here now. And we'll get taken out as we check over what just happened at the waterfall. The no surprise, blue team doing an excellent job, obviously with the numbers advantage there, holding on to this team fight. Lee Kron is up next on the chopping block as Resident has already gone down. Nice CC again coming out from Catapro and the other members of of two two minutes ahead are gonna keep Lee Lee Krot from getting his teammate up there as they have done multiple times in this game now. Lee Kron is again just holding on here, doing a nice job at holding on. Is getting somewhat low though, 5K health does have a heal. Can they interrupt it? No, they're not actually. He's gonna stay alive, but the burst from the blue team will continue you want another smoke field will stop any chance of a resurrection coming off there unless Aerox is able to get some interference in doesn't even want to try and do that Aerox before they even really switch targets is already below 50% health he's going to jump into stealth as well probably hit back to middle where we do see some red numbers here flying into this scent of tumor has got to be ready for this now as we jump on him looks like he is managed to get rid of a lot of that and just stuff it jumped on Aerox actually did a pretty nice amount of damage Aerox gets taken down but the other members of the red team are really piling right up with a triple resurrection they're going to have no issues bringing him back up Aerox will obviously be retreating away from that so he can manage to get his health back up and hopefully rejoin the fight at a later point in time here as he is waiting for it to get a lot of that back or for another opportunity to open up for him to jump in and gang as we jump on a sense of tumor though it looks like 
like they are focusing up on Iced Out Traps, so they don't want to have to deal with those spirits once again, getting feared away there a little bit, but he is looking a little low. Your team in the bulk of this fight, not necessarily the best place for him, but considering how squishy he is, is the right team going to capitalize on that? We had Arox go down once again as he jumped into that fight, but they did take him down. Just look at those Connies in the red team, by the way. Absolutely crucial that they get that. Arox down and Iced Out Traps are down within seconds of each other. They're going to choose to prioritize getting Arox back up, though, as obviously that is a very nice utility. That burst damage that they can pull off, obviously, with the uh, Dagger Pistol Thief that can come into play there if he's playing it well enough. He is having some issues in this big old team fight, though, because Blue Team generally is good at, at uh, countering him when he does go down. And again, a lucky proc there on the weapon skill is going to take Aerox down for the third time in this team fight. We almost had a DK go off there just to know as you can see the red lines going off there. Aerox trying again desperately with a triple resurrection to get him up, but this time Blue Team is ready for it. Aerox was a bit overextended into their territory. They were able to get that AoE off just a little bit easier, and because of that, they brought him back down and managed to take him out full time now. Obviously going to put pull some of the weight off of Blue Team's shoulders in this middle fight. They're all still here. They're all sitting strong, and they're only 40 points away from taking this game. Lee Krot now getting pretty low as Blue Team pushes him into a corner. A quickness stomp from Uratine will take him down now. For Urantian. And they will continue on this fight. Urantian going to throw off some cripples on there to try and take down the other members. We do have Aerox who has rejoined this fight. We're going to look at his point of view, see if he's able to pull off a damage, a damage, nice damage spike. Obviously going to be the job of those dagger pistol thieves. He has been struggling to do that so far this game. Just got a nice one off on his opponent, Thief Catatine, though. Didn't manage to take him down. Is now trying desperately to get it, though. His opponent is in stealth, and he's going to retreat for safety. Urantine is on him once more, though. Just trying to be as careful as he can here. He only has a couple seconds left. It is looking like Blue Team is going to be strong here. Red Team did manage to get the decap off. Off and and uh, apologies and um. Aerox knows this. He's going to be moving in as quickly as he can. He can still get this decap off, but he is going to have to hold it. Is not the best build for holding off these. He's going to have to get some additional support from his red team, from his red team uh, teammates over here, if they're going to want to try to hold on to this for any chance of coming back into this. And they still need about 50 points. And now. They can't lose a single person. They're only one point away from this. If they manage to, if any of their teammates die at this point, that's going to be it. We also have Kizos here trying to get it away. We had a kill go off. I believe Rizaden was taken down over there. Actually, Blue Team managed to cap middle point finally. So they were able to get that back off. And they did win this game. So congratulations. Indy, the two minutes ahead, they're going to be taking this game. And again, guys, if you are watching this VOD on YouTube, please feel free to leave comments down below on the quality or anything I can do to improve the shoutcasting. And if you're watching on Twitch, you may feel free to do the same. Have a nice day, everyone.